This is the first of the sequel films that I promised to follow on my uh, year-end report at the end of December last year. Um, to deal with the four horsemen of the apocalypse, how we can remove their insane influence from the planet. Um, here we will be dealing with the rider, the horseman, called Famine. One of the greatest threats to humanity and the entire planet at the moment is the spread of genetically modified organisms. This represents a great danger in two quite discrete ways. One is a thing which for some reason is very little uh, spoken about, although it's very, very obvious. And that is the digestibility of these things. You see, every creature on this planet has developed its own particular ways of digesting its foodstuff. We as humans, we digest our foodstuffs through the use of enzymes. Enzymes which we naturally produce as a reaction to what we eat. So we first identify, when we put it into our mouth, at the latest, and our body reacts by producing the appropriate enzymes. However, you take a genetically modified thing, and it might look like a tomato or a potato or whatever, but its genetic structure isn't. What does that mean? It means that you do not have the enzymes necessary to digest it. And this is quite possibly where this old Red Indian prophecy comes from, which says, we don't have to fight the white men. Soon they will have full plates and nothing to eat. That's the prophecy which North America is trying very, very hard to fulfill right now. Because the other problem is the wild spreading of this distorted genetic structure. And, okay, there are areas of resistance. Northern Europe is a, a large area of strong resistance. All the same, pollution is happening. Bit by bit, the genetic pool is being dirtied. There is, however, good news. You see, the Earth as a whole is reacting to this disease. I think it's a correct description to call genetically modified organisms a disease. That is what they are, looking at it from the point of view of the troposphere, the um, living planet. Now, you may be that you were educated into this belief of looking at things little bit by little bit by little bit and never the whole thing. So this concept that the entire planet can react to a threat may be a little new to you. But it does. There is no creature on this planet which can say, I am separate from all other creatures. As much as humanity has tried to do this, it doesn't happen. And the wisest amongst us know that it is foolish to even suggest it, such a thing. And what's actually happening is an immune reaction from the entire planet against this pestilence. We have the admission from Monsanto, albeit to date only in the financial press, that at least 22% of their seeds fail to germinate. We also have, which you can even read on Monsanto's own website, a growing percentage 
of the plants or the seeds which do germinate produce no fruit, just empty shells because the seeds are poison to Mother Earth and she doesn't want them. Now it is possible to intensify this natural reaction. And let me just make it plain exactly what Mother Earth is reacting to. What she, we, are reacting to is the distorted information. These monsters which have been created quite literally through the use of black magic. We are reacting to them and saying, we don't want these. Neither do the plants which have been burdened with these foreign genes. They don't want them either. And so what needs to be done, what needs to be brought into focus is our ability to release these plants from this enormous burden. We can set them free. We have the authority, the power and the ability to do so. All we need to do is to focus it. And that's all that we're going to be doing in a few minutes. Just as with the healing video transmissions, I'm going to set up something into the quantum fields, which any time anyone looks at this video, they can focus through themselves and enhance their own ability to release these poisoned plants from their suffering by removing the compulsion to remain in this diseased state. We just release the information and the plants breathe a sigh of relief and just let the organic structure go so that the pure, correct, truthful plant in accord with the structure of Mother Earth so that that can grow. So I'm going to focus this using a Harmony Omega. Everybody who has one of these around the world, you're asked to do this with me. And I shall be trying to do this twice a day. That is at eight o'clock in the morning, Berlin time, that's seven o'clock in the morning, London time. That's two o'clock in the morning, New York time. And again at eight o'clock in the evening. So that's 2 p.m. New York time. Please try to join in on this. The more people who join in on this at those times, the quicker we can remove this threat from our planet. So this is how it starts. We take up the Omega. If you have one, the middle finger goes over the corner of the plate and you use your right hand and your intention is release, freedom. Releasing these plants which have had a disease imposed upon them. Releasing them from their suffering, all of them. And it is done with feelings of great happiness, even with joy. Thank you. This is where it starts.
a little repeated often is the way to do it gently gently there are some additional methods supplementary methods which you can use which you will find in a book called the biology of the website is called thebiologyof.com.